I think it's an excellent idea. Obviously, uh, from, from my very limited knowledge of the subject, there's a tremendous amount of plastic that does not get reused and enters our garbage stream, uh, waste stream, however you want to define it. Uh, I think it's a fantastic idea to recycle that stuff and, and make it into more useful products. I mean, I've got a farmer here in town that uses thousands of feet of this every single year. It gets thrown in a hopper, four or five pickup truck loads of it tied up in little knots. After uh, farmers use the plastic, they either throw it into their dumpster. They may also just pile it up on the edge of the field and leave it there. They may decide to burn it. So those are definitely not sustainable options. Burning or burying. It's all LDPE. We know we're going to have the material. Right now, it's destined for a landfill. And if we can change that and just divert that, it's going to help on the recycling rate. It's going to help the earth long term. Uh, but it's also going to end up generating decent products. Bottom line, there's a lot of it. What I see go into that trash trailer every week. What I see personally that comes in every week from my house. I've taken a trip up to our local incinerator and was just astounded by the volume of LDP in the pile getting ready to be burnt. It's a high quality plastic. Why are we just throwing it away? I was surprised by the strength of the material um, right out of the container, basically, or our first exposure to it. I don't know, it was just fascinating to learn about and really exceeded expectations in that the world has this, I guess, bias about recycled materials that they're somehow inferior to new materials. And what we found was really in contradiction to that. Everywhere I looked, I was seeing places for ecopolymer to end up in a product. And once you, you see all the effort in producing new product, or products from new materials, and you think about how much invested energy there is in, the, in that process, and then you take a recycled material and plug it into the same products with maybe even benefits to the performance, that's a game changer. When I first learned about the Ecomats, I thought, huh, maybe that's a way for me to solve this problem of the danger of people slipping and sliding on my walkway out to the street. So I tried them, and so far, you can see the brick. The Ecomats just drop down right on top of the brick and make a nice smooth walkway all the way out to the street. With the big snow, the experience now is that it's very easy to snow blow, easier than pavement or anything else that I might have. Even the UPS delivery guy thought it was the most fantastic thing he'd been on. He was very happy because he remembers the brick walk and how slippery that was. We used it uh, for several different things. We used it as, a, as literally a walkway uh, over muddy areas on our property uh, in order to keep guests from having to walk in, in the mud. Uh, we also used it uh, to uh, help with some traction issues that we were having with, with some of our equipment. Uh, so, I mean, we've used it on numerous occasions for considerably different applications. I go driving down the road and say, oh, that might work for something, or oh, that could be pretty cool for something. There's just so many applications for the simple pr process that they've discovered. Handicap ramps on sidewalks, boat ramps in the lake. Um, for my facility, I use it to keep my pavement from being beat up by my backhoe when we're processing. Rail trails, it just, it goes on and on and on with the possibilities. It, it's exciting. I don't, I, over something this simple, something this, that's garbage. It really is.